This is one of the biggest upgrades to OnePlus flagship phone in years, with the OnePlus 12 propelling the phone maker into a more serious contender against the likes of Apple and Samsung. The OnePlus 12 features a larger display, triple cameras with an upgraded 3x periscope camera, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, and speedy 80 watt wire charging. It even manages to throw in wireless charging and an IR blaster while basically costing the same as before. There is a lot to say about OnePlus 12's design. It's underrated and deserves a lot more attention because quite frankly, it's stunning to behold. There is just something about the circular camera hump on the back of the phone combined with its metal trim sides and textured casing, it always looks good out of my pockets. Smudges rarely stay on because of its textured casing, while the narrower size of the OnePlus 12 makes it much easier to grasp with one hand over the S24 Ultra or iPhone 15 Pro Max. There are some minor changes to the OnePlus 12 design like the repositioning of the silent switch to the left side, but the overall design language and aesthetic remains the same. Although, OnePlus is generous enough to fashion an IR blaster on the top edge of the phone, allowing it to double as the ultimate universal remote to control all of my favorite gadgets at home. My only concern about the OnePlus 12 design is that it feels more top-heavy than its predecessor, which is a result of the phone's increased weights. I don't think it's deal breaker, but I am more careful about handling the phone because it won't end nicely if it were to drop accidentally. For the price, the OnePlus 12's 6.82 inch 2K Pro XDR display has its share of delights, including OnePlus claim that the screen can reach an unheard of 4500 nits peak brightness. From what I can gather during my time using the phone, the Pro XDR on the OnePlus 12 dishes up strong brightness in direct sunlight, allowing me to see everything with crystal clarity results. I'm still skeptical about the phone reaching that 4500 nit peak, but I'll be content if it can eclipse the 1300 nits of brightness that the OnePlus 11 produced with its display. Paired with a 120Hz display refresh rate, I find the OnePlus 12 suitable for intensive gaming where there is a lot of action happening on screen, everything flows smoothly, making the most demanding games look fluid. One interesting tidbit about the display is AquaTouch, which is new technology that ensures accuracy if the phone's screen is wet. If you are like me and sometimes bring your phone into the shower to scroll through your feeds or play a few tunes, then you can appreciate AquaTouch's increased sensitivity. OnePlus phones have always come up short in the camera department against their rivals, but the new triple camera arrangement of the OnePlus 12 intends to prove that this phone can finally break the stigma. The fourth gen Hasselblad camera for mobile system of the OnePlus 12 consists of a main 50 megapixel camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel periscope camera with 3x optical zoom. The telephoto camera is an iterative improvement over the OnePlus 11's 32 megapixel 2x telephoto zoom, but I am happy to report that just about every performance metric around the cameras is better than before. Starting with the 50 megapixel main camera, it produces excellent results accompanied by sharp details, realistic colors, and good dynamic range. However, I don't see a tremendous difference against the OnePlus 11's main camera when the lighting conditions are good. The 48 megapixel ultra wide camera on the OnePlus 12 also holds up well, especially in high contrast scenes that have strong sources of light. The above photos from the OnePlus 12 and 11 shows they have evenly matched at balancing the overall exposure of the scene. The biggest improvement, in my opinion, centers around the new 64 megapixel periscope camera that bumps optical zoom capabilities to 3x compared to 2x on the OnePlus 11. And the help of OnePlus 12's high resolution sensor images can be enlarged with a 6x in sensor zoom and without any degradation to the details. There is no comparison because the 3x zoom photos I captured with the OnePlus 12 are sharper, more detailed than the 2x zoom camera of the OnePlus 11. When I crop into the photos, I can still make out of the higher fidelity look of the 12's photos. 
low light performance is a toss up because I noticed that the OnePlus 12 has a tendency to underexpose scenes and cast a warmer color temperature compared to the OnePlus 11. You can see it in the photo. Here are some camera samples of the OnePlus 12 and other phone comparison. OnePlus certainly caters to enthusiasts because there are plenty of shooting modes and controls to access. In addition to a dedicated Pro mode that lets me adjust the shutter speed, focus and ISO level, you also get a dedicated movie mode with a flat color profile option. Overall, the OnePlus 12 makes considerable gains everywhere around the camera to undoubtedly prove it's better than last year's model. That's a win in my book. But there is more to camera phones now than just producing the best photos. In an era where AI assisted photo and video editing is being deployed on more phones, the OnePlus 12 misses its opportunity to get on board in this area. You won't find an AI photo features like the ones on say the Galaxy S24. Even though it's not the first phone to offer Qualcomm's latest top-of-the-line mobile chipset, the OnePlus 12 is still flexes some muscle thanks to the Snapdragon Agent 3. Basic operations such as scrolling through the interface and running apps are all accompanied with tight responses. It also helps that the OnePlus 12's 120Hz refresh rate smooths out all animations to make them look more fluid. After running all the usual synthetic benchmark tests, we can confirm that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is no slouch in the graphics processing department averaging a wicked fast 170 frames per second with the 3 d Mark Wildlife Unlimited test. Its score of 90,572 is also better than what the iPhone 15 Pro and Galaxy S23 Ultra can produce. Impressively, the OnePlus pulls out amazing figure with Geekbench with its single and multi-core scores of 2188 and 6525 respectively. Although it took 59 seconds for the OnePlus 12 to render a video in Adobe Rush Premiere that also trails the faster render times of the iPhone 15 Pro and Galaxy S23 Ultra. I am not one to always lean on the scores of synthetic benchmark tests, so I am happy to report that the OnePlus 12 runs graphically intensive titles like Diablo Immortal almost flawlessly. I am not hung up on the Geekbench scores as much knowing that the phone has yet to do anything that would indicate it's sluggish in everyday usage. I am ecstatic to see that the OnePlus listens to its fans and critics because it brought back wireless charging to the OnePlus 12. It's satisfying return because the OnePlus charges 
at the rate plus wireless rate of 50 watt basting everything else out there in the market battery life has been a specialty of the series for a long time now and the oneplus 12 is no exception Packaged with a 5400mAh battery, it's able to confidently get me through an entire working day without the need to recharge. On average, I find it at about 25% capacity on most working days. It's undeniably better than what I get with the other phones, but it will truly prove its endurance after being put through proper benchmark testing. In our battery benchmark test, OnePlus 12 resulting in an absolute monster time of 17 hours and 41 minutes, by comparison it crushes the OnePlus 11's mark of 13 hours and 10 minutes, proving in the process that it's the best phone battery life in a flagship model to date. Much of this is attributed to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's improved power efficiency also indicated by our Galaxy S24 Ultra battery tests. Meanwhile, the OnePlus 12 also makes an improvement with its recharge times. I love how topping up can get you a higher charge, evident in how it gets a 60% capacity in 15 minutes, and unlike its predecessor which topped at 97% after 30 minutes, the OnePlus 12 gets 100% in the same amount of time. These are all mind-boggling results and proves oneplus mastery in this particular area and now that wireless charging is back it simply gives me oneplus 12 a more complete package than ever before another area where oneplus could have gained ground pertains to its oxygen wise interface especially since it doesn't offer anything worthwhile oneplus still delivers a clean modern looking interface with its own set of special features like the smart sidebar that lets me choose apps for quick access to them. But what Oxygen OS lacks are AI features that make the Pixel 8 and Galaxy S24 more compelling. Clearly, AI features require resources to develop and perfect, which is why OnePlus is tapping Google to introduce some AI features to the OnePlus 12. One item in particular coming to the OnePlus 12 is Magic Compose, a feature developed by Google, which will leverage generative AI to provide users with personalized messages. It's similar to the Galaxy AI's chat assist feature with the other Galaxy S24 which will take what you write and give other options to sound professional, casual or for social media. Adding to that, OnePlus plans to introduce a feature called Emojify that will use generative AI to create emojis by analyzing a user's profile picture or snapshots of their pets. I don't know how useful or practical this feature may be the average person so I'll find out when OnePlus releases them by the end of Q1 2024. Outside of this, Oxygen 14 looks and functions very much like its last iteration on the OnePlus 11. I'm actually surprised by that because OnePlus introduced several handy features with the open foldable phone like its unique multitasking with open canvas, so I was expecting the same level of attention to enhance the experience more with the OnePlus 12. If there is one thing I can't get out of my mind about the OnePlus 12, it's how this flagship phone feels more competitive than ever before. With the reintroduction of wireless charging plus extending its telephoto range even more, it's hard to deny its value over all other flagship phones. I am very picky about what I spend my money on when I do. I want to ensure there is a tremendous value in what I am getting and the OnePlus 12 proves it's the affordable flagship to beat it again. While I am bummed that it's lacked in the AI front, its considerably lower price point paired with everything I mentioned above allows anything on a tight budget to experience a top-notch flagship at the not-so-typical overpriced cost. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.